NCAA football from Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska. The first regular season meeting ever between the third-ranked Crimson Tide of Alabama and the Cornhuskers of Nebraska. Kicks off to Nebraska. The kick goes to the end zone, out of the end zone. The group of people that will be working, Tom Sorley. At quarterback, Rick Burns, the deep man out of the I formation. Keith Stewart is the fullback, and the wingback is Curtis Craig. And Tim Smith is the split in, also the putter. From the 21st down for Nebraska, Craig is in the slot to the right side. Smith is also wide that way, and here's the pitch to Burns. The blocking over the left side. He's to the 25-yard line. It's a calm, peaceful, and cool day today. Second down, and a long five, and they send it up the middle with the fullback, Stewart, and there's absolutely nothing there. The offensive unit breaks down with Kevin Clark, 250-pounder at tackle. Greg Jordan, 235 at guard. Tom Davis, 238 at center. Steve Lindquist, he's 250. At the right side of Stan Waldemore, 260. At tackle the tight end is Ken Spaith, and he's a very good one. It is third down and four yards to go for Nebraska from their own 26-yard line. And Sorley rolls. He throws it short, and he misses Ken Spaith, the tight end. And let's see what Alabama can do as you see the young men who held off the first offensive move by Nebraska, Hamilton, Lyons, Jones, Hanna, and Collins. Linebackers Wingo and Gilliland and the defensive secondary for Alabama McNeil Tucker leg and Kramer too. good snap Kick is short it's into the wind but it takes a little bit of a, a press to bounce and so the Alabama Crimson Tide out of the hat and go for something exciting with Jeff Rutledge at quarterback Tony Nathan at halfback uh, Major Ogilvy is getting his first start freshman at wingback and Johnny Davis is the fullback they're out of the wishbone in the first series Rutledge. He's back to throw and he tries to go deep. It is intercepted. It was a bad pass and it was picked off by Ted Harvey. And how do you do? If anything can speed up a football team early, he's just inside the Alabama 33 yard line with Stewart and Burns set behind Sorley. Sorley gives to Richard Burns and he cuts it over the left side. I formation. Second down, six. Pitch to Burns. He ran through an arm tackle to get inside the 25. It is third down and a yard to go from just inside the Alabama 24-yard line. First touchdown in the ball game is always very important. They pull it. The pass is good. And then falling down is Jeff Lee, the wide receiver. Interception of a Rutledge pass by Ted Harvey set up this opportunity for Nebraska. Sorley turns inside to Craig. The wing back counting goes to the 11-yard line. Jeff Lee is wide to the right for Nebraska. Stand-up pass intended for Spaeth to tie it in. And it is third down and 83. Here's the pitch to Burns. No, sir. Good defensive play by Rich Wingo. He's a left footer, and he'll kick it out of Tom Sorley's hole. He hits it at the 18. It is good. So Alabama gives up the field goal, probably feeling lucky they got out of it without giving up six. At 10.38 to go first quarter, Nebraska leads it three to nothing. Kicking off. It is Billy Todd who hit the 28-yard field goal. He hits it to Ferguson who fumbles it. And he finally kicks it out of bounds, so Alabama having a rough start. Got to be careful. They tried the long pass on the first play while a goal was picked off. Let's see what happens this time as Rutledge turns and gives to the big goal Davis. As Johnny Davis moves from the 9 to the 13. Second down. Let's call it seven yards to go, just outside the tied 12. Go to Davis again. Davis takes a solid whack. It is third down. They've got to go to the 19 for the first down. So it's third and a long four for Alabama. Rutledge has still got it on the option, turns to the 20, goes to the 25, and it's first down for the Crimson Tide. He's a better runner than some people want to give him credit for. They mark him down, actually, at the 24, where it is first down for Alabama. 
pass is in the air. The pass is drilled and caught by number eight, Rick Neal. Tim Travis now has gone wide right for Alabama, number 88. On second down and two, Rutledge hands it inside to Johnny Davis, the big pullback to the 42-yard line. Rutledge stands to throw, goes over the middle with it. Pass is incomplete from the 42, second down, 10, Alabama. I formation, pitch goes to Tony Nathan. Oh, he's 198 pounds, and I'll guarantee you, he's third down and four from the 48 for Alabama. Rutledge will throw it again to Newsom. Ozzie's there, he's got it. And he's belted it out at the 40. It's a first down for Alabama. First down, Alabama at the Nebraska 40. Nathan, back to Rutledge. Over the middle it goes for Newsom. He's got it. He falls down at the eight yard line, the seven yard line, and he beat Ted Harvey. Two catches, 45 yards for Ozzie Newsom. First down, goal to go. Alabama at the Nebraska seven yard line. Rutledge on a keeper. Touchdown! Johnny Davis, the fullback, opened the door and Jeff took it in and the tide takes the lead at seven minutes and 36 seconds to go in the first quarter. Jones holds, Jeff's kick is good. And so, the Alabama Crimson Tide go 91 yards in 10 plays and lead by seven to three. With Alabama leading Nebraska 7-3, we rejoin the game late in the first quarter. The Cornhuskers have the ball on their own 20-yard line, first down and 10, here on ESPN Classic. At 5 Pacific time, following the football game for the rest of the country. Nebraska to the attack, and the ball inside to Monty Anthony now, who is in there at fullback. Sorley wants to throw. Runs it up the middle. Good work by the Alabama defensive secondary. Sorely looked downfield for third down, two. Long two. Burns, he wants to throw. He throws it over the middle. The pass is complete to Curtis Craig. It's a foot race. Craig is out of bounds. He's down at the Alabama 35-yard line. Mike Tucker saved the touchdown with 2.25 to go in the first quarter. The tide leading by a score of 7-3. to three. Burns. A reverse to Smith. And back to Sorley. And Sorley throws it. And it is caught by Space, the tight end. Randy Garcia, a senior out of Los Angeles, California, is now in at quarterback. First down at the 25-yard line of Alabama for Nebraska. Garcia gives to Burns. And Burns, running hard, goes inside the 15 to the 14. It's first down at the 14 of Alabama. Nebraska bidding for the lead in the late moments of the first quarter. Monty Anthony out of the pullback position is to the 8-yard line. He's out there with the Jeff Lee, covering him one-on-one. -on -one. They hand it off inside to the fullback. Monty Anthony. It is third down now, and they need a long three yards for their first down. Just outside the seven, they've got to go to the four. They send Burns in motion. Garcia rolls. He throws in the end zone. It is incomplete intended for Curtis Craig. Randy Garcia will hold, and Billy Todd will try for his second field goal of the afternoon. He hits it from the fourth to oh, speak. Garcia rolling out. He throws it. It is caught. It is a touchdown for Nebraska. Rick Burns took it in. The crowd yells, yes. The referee says, it's good. And so with 26 seconds to play in the first period, we've got 17 points on the board as Nebraska leads it 10 to 7. Deep for Alabama, it is Major Ogilvy and Tony Nathan. It's going to Ogilvy, the freshman from Birmingham at the 11. And he comes to the 27th uh, with first down for Alabama at the 27th. They trail 10 to 7. And Rutledge gives to the second man, Nathan, over the right side. And they time has run out now after one period of play, Nebraska 10, Alabama 7. And it's 10 to 7, Nebraska. Alabama, second down and six. 
from the 31. They give it inside. And it's Johnny Davis. Well, Garcia was the starter last week, so maybe he'll have a chance to improve things for him. It is first down for Alabama. Nose of the ball, good enough. Second down, seven. Rutledge to Davis. Johnny Davis has never been stopped for a loss. And so you got Newsom and Nathan wide. And Rutledge fakes. And he unloads it. And the play is good for the first down as number 42. Newsom is wide to the right. Travis wide to the left. First down, Alabama. Ball is handed up the middle to Johnny Davis. Runs hard, W. Getting pressure, gets the pass away, intended for Ozzie Newsom, and he, under the pressure, threw it too deep. Kendrick has just passed 54 yards to Thomas for the third West Virginia score. That's a stunner. Third down for Alabama, they need three. And they go to the money man, and he's got the first down. Three six-man front now. Almost a seven with a cornerback up there for Nebraska. Rutledge wants to put it up. He does. The pass is complete to Bruce Bolton. Second down, a yard and a half for the first down. Rutledge pitches the ball back to Nathan, and there's an outstanding defensive play by Jim Pillen on third down and five and a half from the Nebraska 19. Nathan, the deep man, out of the eye. Rutledge back to throw. Looks for Newsom. Throws it. Scramble for it. Newsom comes down with it. He simply took it away from Tad Harvey. Both of them had a hold of it, and Newsom came down with it. Then when he rumbled out of bounds, uh, here comes number 29 filling across to hit him out of bounds. That's a personal foul. A penalty now moves the ball to a first and goal situation. For First and goal to go for Alabama just inside the Nebraska two. Rutledge keeps, Bumbo pitches out, and Nathan gets it into the corner. That ball was almost fumbled, but a good flip, just enough pressure on the ball to get it to Nathan, and Nathan then just took it right to the corner. Drills it. So both left-footed kickers are doing well this afternoon in Lincoln, Nebraska. Nebraska owns the football, first down at their own 20-yard line. Keith Jackson along with Frank Royals and Bill Fleming. Here at Lincoln for this afternoon's game with Alabama leading 14 to 10, and here is Nebraska now. Second down and nine from the 21. Garcia unloads it in a hurry to hip. He's loose on the sidelines. Oh, look out! Number 21, save the touchdown. Oh, that ball is moving, isn't it? It's hip. And hip is all the way down to the 13-yard line. They'll call it the 13, where it's first down and 10, Nebraska. The Alabama 13. Burns in motion. They give it to the fullback, Stewart, and he's inside the five, close to the three. It's Montgomery. They got two tight ends in the lineup. On second down and a yard, they go to Burns and Richard Burns. Rick Burns, Anthony and Burns are the setbacks. Burns. Touchdown. hasn't missed a beat with Garcia in there, I'll tell you that. And Todd drills it. And the Cornhuskers are back on top by a score of 17 to 14. With less than a minute to play in the half, Bama has a first down and 10 on the Cornhusker 30-yard line, trailing 17-14 here on ESPN Classic. Newsom was playing in a tight end position coming out of that formation. He's caught five now for 99 yards. 40 seconds to go, first half. Rutledge back to throw. Looks for Bolton. Throws it. It's incomplete. These seniors played a lot here. You don't lose much experience. They pitch it forward. 
to Newsom coming from the tight end position. So again, it is a first down, I think, for Alabama, is it? Not quite, apparently, as they go to a quick snap, and Rutledge throws it out of bounds. Roger Chapman out of Kevin Jones hold from the 27th. Not much noise down there. It must be good. It is. So the Nebraska folks who react so big to their team relatively silent at that time as Chapman hits one from 37 yards and we'll go to halftime even at 17 unless Nebraska does something with 10 seconds to go. 17-17 ball game as Alabama will put it in play first down from the 38-yard line. They yelled themselves hoarse. They got to wait and get their wind a little bit. Neal goes in motion. Newsom comes into the tight end position. And Rutledge keeps it. And he is cut down at the 44-yard line. Second down and four yards to go, just short of the 45-yard line. Rutledge looks to throw, looks at Neal, getting a little heat now, throws it short. It's intercepted. It is intercepted by linebacker Lee Kuntz of Nebraska. And Alabama now got to put the defense on as Nebraska has the ball at the tide. 39, first down, and Garcia gives to Rick Burns. He's outside. He's got blocking. He's got a first down inside the 20-yard line. Mike Kramer finally dragged him down. Curtis Craig, the wing back. begin the fourth quarter and here's Keith Jackson thank you Bill Alabama trying to move it third down and just a little bit of a real estate needed for the first down and you see Tony Nathan go where it is first down for the Crimson Tide Rutledge is in at quarterback for Alabama Rutledge to throw it looks for Newsom Got him open. Ozzy makes a fine falling catch. The man has incredible hands. Starting the fourth quarter, 23-06 Alabama, 21-54 Nebraska. Huskers lead 24-17. Second down, they need just a little bit. Rutledge turns it up. No, he does not. Because Jim Whiteman, number 59, three, four years now at Alabama. But he doesn't get it. They give it instead to the second man. They send Davis over the right side, where it is first down from the 13-yard line of Nebraska. The Huskers are leading 24 to 17 in the fourth quarter, 13:30 to go in the game. Rutledge rolls. He looks. He throws for Bolton. He's got it. He's out of bounds at about the four, and they beat Ted Harvey on the play. It is second down and two. That is pro diving for the first down. He should have it. First and goal from the two. Nathan, short, got half of it. Second down, goal to go for the tie. Nathan, touchdown. And not much noise, is there? Not, I was going to say, not <laughs> much noise. But Nathan is good on that play because he gets the ball deep in the backfield. This will tie it. Penalty flag down, Nebraska was off. I don't know if there was movement inside the line, but it, and the score is now 24-24. Alabama has the wind advantage as Chapman kicks it into the end zone. He's hit the end zone on every one of his kicks today, and not that much right now anyway. Anthony and Burns are the deep backs for Nebraska. That's Anthony. Not much. Two at the most. Lead to the right side for Nebraska. Garcia obviously audibleizing, gives it out on that counter reverse to the wing back Curtis Craig, and Craig gets it out to the 28 yard line. He's five man front for the tie. Linebackers in that 52 defense. Pitch goes to Rick Burns. He's got the first down. He's a runner, he's out to the 34. First down, Huskers, just short of the 34. The tie ball game, 24-24. Fourth quarter, 10-59 to go. Garcia rides it out, gives it to Bird. 
Burns trying to outrun the pursuit. And he's up to about the 38th. Second down, six. Whistle stops it. <laughs> well, he's from Aniston. Long count again. Garcia swings it out to Rick Burns. Penalty flag goes down as Rick Burns grabbed the hole of their linebacker. Holding Nebraska. Ten minutes to go in the game. It's second down at the 26. They've got to go to the 44 for the first down. They give it to Rick Burns. Burns is over the 33. Third down and 12 yards to go from the 33. Garcia to put it up. He throws for Smith. He's got it. An incredible catch by Jim Smith. He caught it over Don McNeil. Great off right near the 35-yard line of Alabama. First down, Nebraska. 24-24 game, 9-15 to play in the fourth quarter. Garcia turns and pitches wide. To Burns, he's on the corner. And he's close to a first down. First down as Burns got around the corner to make it first down at the Alabama 25. Garcia still got it. He's got room on the sideline. And they shove him out. With nine minutes to play it. Burns in motion. Give it to Monty Anthony. Up the middle he goes to the 10-yard line. And now Nebraska's moved ahead. He hit the running department just barely. First down just outside the 10-yard line. It's Rick Burns. He just hammers it. He's to the five. At the five. Second down. Garcia keeps it, coming down the line, pitches it outside to Burns, he gets to the three. There's been a lot of offense in all of their games. Third down, they need almost three yards for a first down, three yards for a touchdown. Garcia wants to throw it, going to run it now. Cuts it back inside, penalty flag, he goes down just short of the goal line. And Burns is deep in the eye formation. Garcia dies. Does not have a touchdown. Just short of the first down. They may have it. Alabama goes down solid up front. Burns! Touchdown! to the 28th first down for the Tide. 7.05 to play in the game. They trail by seven. They give it to Nathan. And Nathan runs into Jeff Carpenter. Time not quite yet a factor, but it will be very shortly. At the 37th, second down, two. Rutledge to Nathan. But in second effort, the surge. First down at the 39. Rutledge gives it off to Davis. And Davis chunks it over the 40, 5.50 to go in the game, and the Huskers lead 31-24. Rutledge stands to throw. Whips it, it's incomplete. Penalty on it. Interference called against him. And it's a first down just inside Nebraska territory, just over the 50 for Alabama. Nebraska encroaching on the play. Nathan gets outside. And he has his legs knocked from under him. But, and you have 5.20 to play in the game. Alabama's on the march again. They trail by seven. Rutledge keeps. Gets some out. As Jeff Newsom is also playing a tight end position. 
And the pitch is to Nathan, back to Rutledge. Rutledge wants to go deep. He throws instead to the sidelines, and he bounces it into Bruce Bolton. The ball bounced before Bruce could get it. And wide open, and Rutledge saw it, but he just couldn't get the ball there. Uh, the Bruce really trying, though. He was reaching. <laughs> the biggest play of the game right here. Third down and seven. Rutledge is throwing for Newsom. It is incomplete. Velocic came over to help out Tim Fisher, and they knock it away. This is a tough call. Fourth down and seven from the 32. Rutledge goes over the middle. It is intercepted. Intercepted by Jim Pillen. Penalty flag down. Holding. Alabama, Nebraska will take the ball. That is the fourth interception of Jeff Rutledge. Now time becomes an ally of Nebraska. From the 29-yard line, first down, and the crowd goes very quiet to let the quarterback talk to the halfbacks. And it's I am hip popping out of there. And I think Rick Burns might have been shaken up when Dylan, who had made that big interception for Nebraska. Second down and seven from the 32. First man, Anthony, a yard, third and seven. Long count again. Garcia put it up, short over the middle. Ken Spade, he's short of the first down. As four, white shirts. Smith's kick is away. It's a pretty good kick to Nathan. Now to Houston. It's Nathan, I guess, back there. It's a 39-yard punt, 22, receiving it. Minutes, 22 seconds. Straight up ball game, huh? Well, that's the throw. Gets pressure. Gets away from the pressure. Has to run it out of bounds. Velocic way back playing center field. Pressure's on again. Rutledge tries to throw it. Can't do it. It is Terry Weinmaster and a penalty flag now. Yep. Might be a late hit against Nebraska. Keith on the new rule this year. The score is 31-24. Nebraska is leading Alabama with a minute and 51 seconds to play in the game. First down, Alabama. The ball is handed back to Rutledge. Over the middle, it goes for Newsom. It's intercepted by Pillen. That's his second interception of the ball game. And that may do it. It's the fifth interception of Jeff Rutledge. A minute and 41 seconds to play in the game. Nebraska has the ball, and they lead 31-24. At their own 46-yard line, all they've got to do is use up a minute and 41 seconds. Alabama has two timeouts remaining in the game. Give the ball to Rick Burns, who's back in there, and he takes a hard hit. Second down and seven from near midfield, the 49. Clock running, one minute to play in the game. Garcia pitches to Burns. Rick Burns keeps shaking tacklers and finally gets the ball up to midfield. Ball third down and seven at midfield. They lead 31-24. They should be able to run out the clock, though Alabama, with one timeout remaining, will be able to stop it with a timeout. Third and seven right here. They give it to Monty Anthony, the fullback, and he is belted short of the line of scrimmage. Tim Smith will punt on fourth down. Alabama trying to block it. Kick is away, and it bounces away from the receiver, Nathan. And Nathan with no chance to get a hold of it. Nebraska downs it at the 20, 19 seconds. Alabama, no timeouts remaining. Nebraska leading by seven points, 31-24. Rutledge will throw. Throws to Newsom. Ozzie's got it. Shakes one, dragged down at the 37. At quarterback, and Rutledge hobbles off the field. So Kevin Jones is in. He stands, and he throws it out of bounds. And you got six seconds left to play in the game. And Nebraska jumps offside, makes contact. Second down for Alabama and 10. Kevin Jones throws it. It goes over the middle. The pass is incomplete, intended for Q. And it's been a pistol. Jones to throw. Gets it off and bounces it in front of Q. The ball game is over. They roar in Lincoln.
The crowd roaring as they should because the Cornhuskers have won at home 31-24 over Bama.